Dr. Judy here at the Children's Museum and this week on stayplaylearn.org we are talking kitchen chemistry. So chemistry experiments that you can do in your home. Today I'm going to show you a cool experiment about polymers. Um, so what are polymers? Polymers are uh, large molecules or macromolecules that are composed of a lot of repeating subunits. So what does that mean? That means that if you have a molecule you have a bunch of molecules floating around. When something polymerizes, those little molecules start forming long chains of repeating units. So that same molecule keeps repeating over and over again, and you get these long strands of molecules. When you make slime, um, you're actually doing the polymerization. You're making those molecules come together and make longer molecules. So. The fun thing that you can try uh, in your very own kitchen that, that shows you the properties of polymers is um, this experiment that I'm going to show you. And all you need is a plastic baggie, some pencils that are sharpened, water, and a willing parent. This one is best done outside, but since it's raining outside, I'm going to do it inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our baggie, Ziploc baggie, and I'm going to put some water in it. Close it up. So you can see I have my Ziploc baggie here with water in it. So I have my baggie here filled with water and it's not going to come out because um, I have it zipped at the top. But plastics are a type of polymer. Plastics are formed when a bunch of molecules come together to form long chains, and then they can also form sheets like this. So, now comes my pencil of science. What's going to happen when I poke this pencil into this plastic bag? You think it's going to spring a leak? If I poke my pencil in the plastic bag, what happens? Nothing. There's no water coming out. But yet, the pencil's right through the plastic bag, right? Why does that happen? Well, this is, a, this is a property of polymers. If you think of all these molecules coming together and they form these long chains, so when you have a bunch of these long chains together, they kind of form a weave. If you ever did one of those little pot holders that you weave together on a loom, kind of like this one, that's kind of like what a polymer is. So this is my pot holder, like the kind that you weave on a loom. And if I were to take a pencil, or in this case, I'm just going to use a bamboo skewer, and poke it through the pot hole, you can see it goes through it. But if you look at the weave, the weave is still tight around the skewer. That's what's happening when you poke the pencil through the bag. The weave of the polymer is still tight around the pencil, so there's no leaks. So, how many pencils do you think that we can poke through this bag without springing a leak? I don't know. I think we could probably do an awful lot. I would like to see you guys try this at home with your parents' help. And like I said, it's best to do it outside. But how many pencils do you think you can get through this bag? It's a really great example of what polymers are and showing some characteristics of polymerization. This is Dr. Ginny with the Bloomsburg Children's Museum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.